It is outrageous that the only group of people can have their constitutional rights taken away without a hearing before a judge or a magistrate are the very people who fought for those rights and their dependents. A congressman passionate about the bill he introduced and the House later passed, the so-called Veterans Second Amendment Protection Act. Right now, the Department of Veterans Affairs adds the names of veterans it deems mentally unfit to a federal background check system, and they can't buy or own guns. If the bill becomes law, a judge would make that decision. We entrusted our soldiers with a weapon while in uniform, so let's treat our veterans with the same expectations and standards of safety when they take off the uniform. But critics of the bill say the VA determining a veteran to be mentally incompetent is meant to protect, not punish them. When that determination is made, we owe it to our veterans not to put a weapon in their hand, but rather to put the full weight of a responsive mental health system at their disposal. One concern is it could raise the suicide rate among veterans. An average of 20 veterans committed suicide a day in 2014, according to the VA Suicide Prevention Program. And between 2001 and 2014, the VA found the suicide rate among U.S. veterans rose by more than 32 percent. It goes beyond suicide and potentially into violence. In January, veteran Esteban Santiago, who was released from a hospital after complaining about hearing voices, later brought a gun and is now accused of killing five people at Fort Lauderdale International Airport. Right now, about 170,000 disabled veterans are deemed mentally incompetent by the VA. The House bill will now head to the Senate. For The Now, I'm Kamasi Aaron.